every once in a while, when I'm alone, I start thinking, and I feel like I'm, well, I just start feeling a little down. But that's okay, that's normal, right? I just need to change things up a little bit, get out of the routine. Everybody, guess what? I am so happy. All right, listen. I just went to this revival meeting. It was great. You could just feel the presence of the Lord moving. Like, woo, man, we were just. It was great. But you know what? You know, later on, when I'm alone, I start to lose that, you know, spiritualness, that God feeling. You know, I I don't know what to do. You know what? That's normal, right? I just probably need to spice up my spiritual life. <laughs> Okay, so I was feeling a little down, and to change up my routine, I decided to take my Kari classes. Look what I made. What? Like you don't like it? Can't tell what it is? It's a bowl, okay? It's a bowl. I guess you're right, though. I'm not very good, am I? I'll just try something else. Alright, guys. So guess what? You know how I was saying that I was feeling a little less spiritual? Well, guess what happened? So, a pastor from India came to our church last Sunday, and guess what I did? I wrote him a check, and not a small one either. Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. All right, yeah. I helped his ministry. You know that? But you know, I still don't have that thing, you know, to feel. Guess I'll just have to try something else. So pottery didn't work out for me. So what? I found something else. Or should I say someone else? That's right, I had a boyfriend. And he's a great guy. He says all these sweet things to me and does all these nice things for me. I just don't know about the long term, you know? I mean, I thought he was my soulmate. Did he complete me, make me happy? And he kind of did at first, I guess. But now it's been a while and all those nice things he says are getting kind of old and things he does are getting kind of predictable. He just doesn't make me happy anymore. I guess he's just not the one. Okay guys, guess what? I went on a mission trip. I was in the rural parts of India, teaching and preaching among the poor and the uneducated. Man, was it an eye opener or what? But, you know, I still felt good for a while, because, you know, God did some cool things too, you know, healed, saved, the usual. But after a couple weeks, even that died down. You know, I'm running out of options. I just don't know what to do. I just have to do something else for the Lord, you know. Yeah, for the Lord. So, pottery didn't work out for me, and my boyfriend is now my ex. Um, so I decided to take some time just for myself. So I got a makeover! Can you see the difference? I bought all new expensive clothes and I cut my hair. But even that fades away. I mean, the self-confidence I get when I put on a new outfit only lasts till I take it off. I don't know what to do anymore. I've tried everything. Who are you? You know who I am. I'm the one who trying to push out your mind. As soon as you start to let yourself down, When you hear me whisper to you, you tune it out so Satan can continue to lie to you. You know exactly who I am. Okay, fine. What do you want? I see you took up pottery. Yeah? Look at your work. Yeah, I get it. It's ugly, it looks nothing like a bowl, and I'm completely incompetent as a potter. What's your point? My point? I'm not an incompetent potter. Look at my work. What are you talking about? You, I am the potter and you are the clay.